Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial I am going to share with you how to find out effectiveness of heat exchanger of the given condition. The pretty problem you can see right now which is in front of you this question already asked in gate previous year. Okay, let me share with you options first. Suppose that 0.5 is not working. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Let's Let's think like this only, okay? So, how we can able to solve this problem? That is the thing, right? So let's go for it. So what we have we have given in this question that in certain heat exchanger, that means they haven't tell us that uh, which is which heat exchanger is this? Is this parallel flow or counter flow? Both the fluids have identical mass flow rate. That's cool. Now a specific heat product hot fluid enters at this and uh, flow rate specific heat product okay that's what is the meaning of this basically mass flow rate and a specific heat product that means this is heat capacity this is c so c h is equal to cc they said that means cold fluid heat capacity is equal to hot fluid heat capacity okay so this is the condition they have told us and this is uh, one of the important condition i must say that because this is most important right so now what you have to basically understand that is important that is important right so what is you have to understand that is what type of uh, heat exchanger you should draw so we can draw any heat exchanger let's get started with this one any heat exchanger parallel maybe parallel flow maybe counter flow so this is a parallel flow heat exchanger now hot fluid enters 76 degree centigrade and leaves at 47 degree centigrade cold fluid entering at 28 degree centigrade and leaves at 55 degree centigrade okay so we have to find out what we have to find out effectiveness that is epsilon so we know that effectiveness of heat exchanger is q by q max what is q and what is q max q is actual heat transfer rate q max is maximum possible heat transfer rate by the heat exchanger again we know we do have formula that is ch th1 minus th2 by c minimum th1 minus tc1 again we have another formula cc that is heat capacity for cold fluid tc2 minus tc1 by c minimum th1 th1 minus tc1 we can use any one let's use this first one right so this one this one get cancelled because both are same so what is th1 76 what is th2 47 yeah what is tc2 55 sorry uh, it's, it's th1 minus tc1 28 right now use calculator and find out answer it's 29 divided 76 minus 28 is equal to 48 so now 29 divided 48 how much 0 0.6041 okay this is the effectiveness of the heat exchanger now match with the answer we have given in this question that is option b is the right answer for this question and this question already asked in gate previous year i hope you understand the concept i hope you understand the question as well as if you will get similar type of question you can solve it i hope so and this question has been asked in gate previous year for two marks can you imagine yeah that is right so uh, if you are getting help from my tutorials don't forget to share with your friends and of course if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, subscribe it now. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much and bye-bye. Hope to see you again in my next tutorial.